Hey, what's going on? So, I'm just doing this video. I have a whole bunch of other videos to put out, which I haven't finished editing yet. But, um, it's just one of those nights where my mind is going 100 miles per hour and I'm seeing these tweets and I'm seeing these TV shows and I'm seeing Facebook updates and I just want to say that it's getting hot. And it is still hot. I'm sitting in front of my fan, as y'all can see. Um, the summer's coming up. People, it's getting hot between them legs. It's getting hot in that mouth. And they're going to start doing things. But if you're going to be doing something, if you're going to be having sex, you need to be using a condom. I can't stress that enough. I, I, I really can't. Just because someone say, oh... I'm not going to nut in you or I'm not going to uh, come inside you doesn't mean that you still can't get pregnant you still can't get STDs or STIs and that the person who was on top of you can't receive anything from you so my whole thing is, is that we're in 2011 the messages is being pumped out every day I'm seeing the commercials and they're doing what they have to do even though some of the commercials are just geared towards gay men, which I believe is just not a gay disease, and it's not just a gay disease because it's affecting everybody, we need to be on top of this. Y'all don't need to be sitting in nobody's clinic saying, I shoulda, coulda, woulda, because all that just equals too late. We can't fix too late. If you become HIV positive, if you have herpes, it's too late to fix that. Them condoms will help you to decrease the uh, the risk of becoming infected with HIV. Herpes you can get from skin to skin contact, and and that's so real. And and you can get it from giving oral sex, um, eating someone out. And I'm sorry the way that I'm talking, but you just have to talk that way to certain people because people will understand that. I mean, I do have my professional moments I can talk proper but um you just have to talk to your audience because this is where I'm trying to reach I'm trying to reach those who are not getting it through their head I'm seeing more kids becoming positive every day more adults becoming positive and even the elderly becoming positive I'm getting messages I'm getting text messages I'm just getting emails from all over people talking about oh my gosh I saw your messages I saw your videos how can I deal with this you gotta stick with them condoms you gotta speak your mind speak with your mouth because that is going to save your life if you don't want to have sex you ain't got to if you don't have a condom, you ain't gonna have sex. If you're married and wanna have a kid, good luck to you. But if you're out there going from one person to another person, or you're just with that one person and something's not clicking in your head right, saying, that, oh, he, he or she may be out there dealing with someone else, that person may not even be using condoms. You have to be the one. You have to be the sole person of your own life because you're the only one who has to live it you have to use some condoms I've messed up in my past I found out I was positive when I was 19 I'm 24 now I'm dealing with it and for those who are positive and they're not taking care of themselves y'all need to get it together I know it is hard to deal with but your life is important if you want to continue on living if you want to get out of those hospitals and want to have less frequent hospital visits and doctor's visits Take the meds, go to your doctor, talk, ask questions, do what you have to do because no one is going to get those answers except for you. You're not going to get them unless you don't talk or ask them. Use condoms. Think wisely. And if you're a drug user, I'm not promoting drug use, use clean needles. Go on YouTube, cdc.gov websites that will teach you how to clean needles properly and if you don't want to go through the hassle of cleaning them go to a needle exchange place and get yourself some clean needles because it's serious and it's bothering me to see that we're here 30 years later and people are becoming more positive now more than ever 
And I'm using my life as a testimony to tell you that it's not the end, but you don't have to be in my place. You don't have to be in nobody's clinic talking about, oh, my CD4 is low, my rival load is going up, so now you need to be taking off this medication because now the person who already had HIV now gave you their medications and inserted inside you, and now that medicine is not working for you. Now you have to be put on extra, extra amount of medications. What I just said, you may not understand, but <laughs> replay this video over and you will understand. But my main thing is, is right now, do what you have to do. Learn more about HIV and how to protect yourself because it could be you within the next minute or within the next day, month, or years to come. And you don't want to be in my situations or the millions of other situations. Come on. I know sex is great, but safe sex will save your life. Taking on medications every day is not a cute thing. I don't want to take my medications. If I know I'm going out to a club, I know I have to pop my pills before I go out. Or pop them before I go to bed. It, it gets tiresome. Physically, I may look good. But mentally and emotionally, you don't know what's going through my mind. You don't know how I feel. So, my message is to you to think wisely. Do what you have to do. Get them condoms. I don't care if they're the small ones. Use them. And no plastic wraps involved, neither. Use them. Alright? So, next time you go for an HIV test or a screening, let your test come back negative and let it stay that way. Stay positive about staying negative to HIV, STDs, and STIs, and even pregnancy if you're not ready for pregnancy. Later.